From a story we broke at the noon hour, three people found dead on Cleveland's northeast side in an auto repair shop. News Channel 5's Shea Harris joins us with the newest information. Here's Shay. Well, Leon, we've got news that police have a potential suspect in mind, but they are not giving out any other information. Now, earlier today, we spoke to a pastor from one of the oldest churches in the area who says this is an isolated incident. Nottingham Methodist Church has stood on this corner of St. Clair for more than 190 years. It's been a very quiet neighborhood. Most of the folks that attend this church, they either walk from their homes or they drive in from the suburbs. So it's surprising to Pastor Stanley Miller that just across the street, a man and two women were found murdered this morning inside the Imperial Auto Sales body shop. I am very surprised, but you know, crime happens in a lot of different communities, and, and what I don't want people to do is you know, kind of rushed to judgment on what this crime was. Cleveland Police spokesperson Sammy Morris says the male victim worked part time at the shop and had a key to let himself in. He also worked at other shops in the area to make money. Police haven't said why the two women were with him. The owner's brother says they've had the business for more than 15 years and had never had any problems like this. It's terrible that this happens. I mean, you look at the community, there's, there's kids running, there's kids playing around here all day and. You know, to see something like this happen, it, it's, it's shocking. Meanwhile, Pastor Stanley Miller says they have to dig a little deeper to prevent terrible acts like this. We have to redouble our efforts to make sure that we're caring for people. Because, you know, the church is only the place where you get really charged up, dressed up, and ready to do the work. The work has to be done in the neighborhood, in the street. Now, again, we are checking tips that police are on the trail of a possible suspect and that drugs may have been involved in the shooting. So far, they haven't released the names of the victims. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner is investigating to determine the exact cause of death. In the newsroom, Shea Harris, News Channel 5.